What is this that I'm hearing? The, the, the stories of your recent adventures. Mom told me what's going on. Hmm? Hey, you there? Talk to me. I'm your big brother. You can tell me anything. I'm here for you, man. You gotta tell me what's going on. You have your head down. You're looking at the ground. You're all shaking. I can sense something's wrong. I I want to help you, but you gotta you gotta talk to me, man. What is it? Yeah, mom told me, but I want to hear this from you. What have you been doing? What have you been up to, huh? Running around with a knife. Okay. What else? Drinking. Okay. Well, I have, um, as you know, Mom told me, and thank you. I'm glad you said it yourself. You're being straight with me. But I appreciate it, man. We can't, we're family, we can't lie to each other, you know. Alright, family is important. We gotta keep ourselves together, man. So listen. What's up? What's been going on with you, man? You've been hanging out with those friends of yours again? You've been through this before. Yeah, you know. Okay. Listen. I found this empty bottle in the garbage. I haven't been drinking this. Mom hasn't been drinking this. So we're left with only you. What is this beer that you're drinking? It's not your friend's beer. Come on. Be honest with me. This is yours, right? Is this beer yours? Or whatever's left of this beer. Oh, it's yours. Okay. Good. We're getting somewhere. Why have you been drinking? You're like 16 years old. Come on. Don't make stupid decisions. Because at your age, stupid decisions begin with this. With beer. With alcohol. That's the start. And uh, then, you, beer's not enough for you, so you get on to vodka or whiskey. But then, even that is not enough for you. So you get into drugs. And I do not want to see you overdose or in jail. I do not want to bury you. Listen, this is not acceptable. And, um, there are always, always consequences of drinking. Um, and at your age, I'm gonna say the consequences will not be pretty. You have your future ahead of you. Come on, man. I've, I've been there. I made bad decisions. And because of that, I made choices, and those choices are still with me to this day. I'm dragging my choices right behind me. There are some doors that are closed for me right now because of the mistakes that I've made in the past. Don't let anyone close door for you. You still can be whoever you want to be. Just. Don't be a dumbass, man. Beer. Don't. Listen. I'll, you know what? If you want to drink beer or have an honest talk and feel like an adult, just hit me up, man. I'm here. Heck, we can go on the porch and uh, we can go on the porch and open a beer. We drink a little bit. 
with me, you know, brother with brother. That's 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 stuff we can do if you want that, because you know, it's better that than just running around with those bodies of yours. They're they're trouble. Let me tell you that. So it's better. It's better for you to drink with me on the porch and talk with me than just run around with those fellas. And the next thing, I found a knife. Um, Mom mentioned that it's the knife you were uh, running around with. What is this shit, man? I'm trying to beat your ass up? Huh? Maybe that will teach you, huh? Listen. I do not want to kick your ass, but if you're gonna keep doing shit like this, I might as well have to. Cause maybe, maybe that's the only way you'll learn, huh? Is that what you want? You want me to beat your ass? Thought so. Well, why were you running around with, with this shit? Scaring people. I heard I heard what you did. I heard what your bodies of yours did. Shit's not funny, man. You know you can kill someone with this, right? I know that maybe you... It, it can be an accident. You might not want to kill someone, but by accident, you can. And your whole life just goes to shit. There's no, no coming back from a murder. Are you stupid? <sighs> this is a real thing. Not a plastic toy that you're running around, around the house. You actually went on the street with this. Threatened people. I don't, do you think it's a really good idea? I mean, you're probably drunk, so that's how it works. You know, you're drunk, you don't think about things you do. You don't think ahead. Let's say, hey, I'm drunk and I'm just waving my knife here. What's gonna happen with me in three years? Where will I want to be? You don't think about that. You just think about, hey, let's put out a knife and just threaten people because it's fun right now. But then you sober up and you realize what you did was wrong, and the consequences, they're coming. Uh, and you regret, regret and regret what you did, but nobody cares about your regret at that point. No matter how much you would want to take what you did, take back what you did, no matter how much you would want to go back in the past and... Uh, Go back in time and uh, fix your mistakes. You cannot do that. That's not how life works. You cannot go back in time and do things differently. Trust me, I've been there. I've been thinking about that. And the regret is just not worth the risk and fun. Because that regret, the thing that you're feeling right now inside of you, it's going to eat you alive. I'm taking this because it's not a toy and you shouldn't be running around with this. What? You, you saw people online carrying a knife? A lot of people carry a knife? Yes, but most of those people are intelligent enough to know to not wave it around someone else's face, you know? This is a tool. People carry it because it's a tool. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm kind of dis... I'm not kind of... I'm disappointed in you. I don't know what else to say. I'm really, really disappointed. Listen... One other thing. 
I know it's not yours, but who's this? Who's is this? This is actually a toy gun, I know, but I know it's not yours. But you've been on you guys have been running around with this, uh acting like it's a real gun, you know, aiming at people in the dark, so they didn't know if you have a real gun or not. What is this shit? Whose gun is this? Is that that uh, 12 years old Tommy's gun? What is he, 12 years old? Is this his gun? So you guys are just acting up like adults, huh? Running around with toy guns, acting like it's real, doing pa 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 stuff because you think it's fun. You saw it in the movies, and you know you just wanted to feel like an adult, huh? You're a real dumbass, aren't you? I'm taking this, and I'm gonna have a talk with Tommy's father because. Shit that you, have, you guys have been doing is just unreal recently. You gotta turn your life around, man, or you're gonna end up somewhere you definitely do not want to be. You have a future ahead of you. You had great grades, man. But they're just steadily declining recently. You wanna taste a little bit of a different life, is that it? I see. Listen. We all do stupid shit from time to time. I've done some stupid shit back in my days, but the reason I'm talking to you right now about all this is because you know, in my case, I learned a lesson and there is no reason for you to learn it the hard way like I did. So you should listen to your big brother who's been on this earth for much longer than you and who's done stupid and I mean stupid shit in the past. But now I know better and I want to teach you how to be a better person can't do that. You can't be a good person. You are a good person, man. This shit, it's all recent stuff, man. You're not, this isn't you. And I do not want you to feel like you have some kind of respect in, in your friend group because of all this shit that you do. Because I'm pretty sure your friends are gonna go their own way sooner or later. And you're gonna end up with felonies and maybe jail time. And uh, we don't wanna lose you, man. Just be with us, stay with us. We can go have some fun. We can go bowling, we can, I don't know, man, build stuff. We have tools in the shed, we can build whatever you want, maybe like a, hey, you know what we want? I just figured we need like a, a backyard shed for uh, for our bigger tools. Because we have this little shed and it's falling apart. We need to build a better one. So, hey, maybe that can be a little, little summer project of ours, huh? What do you say? You down for that? Come on, man. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to have some fun, man. Come on. It's gonna be awesome. High five, man. High five. Great. Awesome. Now just stop crying. Dinner's ready. Uh, let's go eat. Let's just not talk about this anymore. It happened. I hope you're gonna know better next time. Because you're not dumb. You're super smart. You're probably smarter than me. So, come on. Let's go eat.